Hello, this is a review of the Black & Decker Steam Mop I was sent by AO.com to review. Um, the model number is a little bit weird to remember, so I'm just going to show it on camera now. So there we go, that is the Steam Mop's model number. Uh, I'm just going to briefly turn the camera portrait style so you can see the Steam Mop fully. There it is. Um, Apologise first of all for the shaky camera work. My tripod has gone walkabouts as it were which I don't think is true I think some sneaky partner of mine may have stolen it however so here it is the steam mop um, I'm going to break this review into two parts firstly the features and secondly the performance of the machine so unfortunately it's not all good so I'm going to start off with the negatives first so the which are the features of it unfortunately the performance is quite good I'll move on to that in a moment but the features. So first of all, the main downside to this is the swivel head at the bottom here that you can see. When cleaning, it is absolutely fantastic. It allows you to swivel and clean with ease. It glides across the floor. However, when the machine is stood up, after you finish cleaning, it falls. And that way. Whichever way, it, there's no way for this mechanism here to lock into place. So it won't stand upright. The only way it will stand upright is if propped up against a cupboard. There we go, it's propped up against the cupboard there. And it will stand up. So storage wise, it's fine because I imagine you're going to have it in a cupboard anyway. But when you just want to quickly stop using it to get, you know, answer the door, get the phone, whatever. Uh, unplug it and plug it in somewhere else you have to prop it up against a wall otherwise it will just fall it will just fall on the swivel joint here it's a major downfall for any machine like that there is inferior models to black and decker and i say inferior in terms of lower store brand steam cleaners which stand up by themselves um it's something you'd expect a little bit more from black and decker the second um problem with it and it, it sounds trivial very very trivial is the hook at the top here for the cord now on any device like this on a vacuum cleaner or carpet washer or any device that uses a cord like this you'll often find that there is two hooks to wrap the cord around this one however the, the hooks don't turn here and this one down here they don't turn so the, the, the cord wraps around perfectly however to unwrap it you have to physically lift it off and over and it, it sounds very trivial but in the grand scheme of things it's nice being able to undo a hook and pull all the cord off in one go so those are two of the bad features there the cord is a decent length i cleaned all downstairs where i have my hard floors in my house um with absolutely no problem at all i'm just going to plug this in while we wait and make sure that the off switches are in that position and right yeah so that's plugged in while we wait there um the cleaner comes with two microfiber pads that look like this two microfiber pads there um the oh, the next one i'm going to show you is soiled but i just wanted to show you the performance of it this is what it picked up off three different floors in my house so my seven foot by six foot kitchen my 11 foot by 11 foot dining room and my nine foot by two foot hallway um use this one pad and it picked up all that dirt off it performance wise it's great like that the water tank on the top here the water that you can see left in it, it takes a bit of force to get it off it is held in really securely which is definitely a good point let me pop the camera down take that off so the water that's left in here was the water that is left after cleaning those three floors that I just mentioned there so there is a decent amount of water enough to go on to do a couple more floors if you have them in your house so you could clean quite a large area filling up from one water tank the water tank is filled up by unscrewing this white cap here and then filling it with water and slotting it into the top of the machine here like that so that sits on there 
Um, there are two separate switches on here. There is the front switch here, which controls the steam. we are focusing on there. And there is a switch around the side here, which is the on and off. So, if we switch the red switch on the side on, which is the power on there. So the power is on. Unfortunately, there is no indication light on the machine at all to tell you the power is on. You just have to go off the fact that you push the button or a manual inspection of the button here to show that it is in the on position. The second button here, turn it on, will activate the steam. So as soon as I turn it on, you will hear the steam kick in. And you can hear the motor there. I'll be quiet a second so you can hear it. Pumping the steam out there. You can see the steam starting to come out. So I'm going to turn it over just so we can get a look at So the steam is in fact coming out of this hole here, this blue one in the middle and it seems to be omnidirectional in terms of it, it seems to be pointing in three directions to cover all of the pad that will be on the bottom. So there is just the one steam jet there in the middle. But the steam is quite forceful. So I'm just going to turn the machine off now. So in terms of pickup, um, well, say pickup, that's the wrong word. In terms of power up, the machine is extremely fast at doing so. The steam comes on within a few seconds. And when cleaning, as I say, it is extremely powerful, picking up all this dirt from the floor. Um, some people may find the head a bit unattractive in terms of getting into tight spaces, etc. But it's very much a, a user preference. I found that it was very easy. It cleaned all areas easily. And it was easy to push across the floor. It made the floors look clean and it dried very quickly afterwards. The only things that let this machine down, as I stated before, were the two physical design flaws of the machine. So the one, the fact that it won't stand up unless, as you can see here, it's propped up against a wall. Or the fact that it won't unhook all the cord at the same time. They sound trivial, but it's best to cover all these things and to highlight to you out there what the actual features that let it down are. Um, AOR provided this free... For me to as long as I upload a review there was no condition in there that I could give it a bad review hence why I've, I've given you my honest personal opinion on it so that is how well I think this machine is check my review on AO.com for my written review as well and thank you very much for watching